Christian is a Christian who studies nature and scripture. Romans chapter 1. St. Paul says, what could have the truth that should be known about God is evident in nature. But they did not want to learn. Then what is evident? He said, what could be known about God is evident in nature. They started from nature. Many of you are ignorant of nature. You are taught the kind of religion that most, once you hear, first of all, you hear tradition, you hear culture. You hear omenal. You recoil. You think you are spiritual by neglecting all of those things. Some of you confuse herbalists with witch doctors. When they say go and take herbal, a herbalist gave me and say, Hey, you went to a herbalist, you will go to hell. No? <laughs> My brother, a herbalist is a native doctor. Who is a native doctor? Somebody who uses herbs, natural things to cure. It's different from a witch doctor. In fact, there are many men of God who are actually witch doctors. Every other grace, grace for wealth, grace for progress, is found in nature. Study nature. Find solution to a problem. Don't neglect the things that nature reveals. As long as you keep doing that, you'll be suffering the consequences. What's up guys? I'm here. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're good to be a child, but it is not good to remain a child. Why did I say this? Being a child is a stage that every human, every living thing will pass through. Being a child is a stage that a human or an animal will have to go through, pass through before getting into an adult stage. It is not your fault that you were a child, but it will become your fault if instead of transitioning into adulthood, when it has to do with your reasoning, you still decided to reason like a child. Being a child and moving into adults is a natural transformation. It is a natural transition. It is a natural phenomenon. But you remaining in that position will become your own fault. As long as you're an adult, your parents are no longer responsible for your status, your financial status. As long as you become an adult, it is no longer the duty of your parents to decide your financial status, your marital status, your academic status. Because if you actually want to become a graduate, there are so many jobs that you can engage yourself into, then take care of yourself while you seek for support from your parents. If your parents were not fortunate to see you through school, enough of the blame. It is time for you to get up, stand up, for yourself it is time for you to do the needful failure to do that will attract your consequences <sighs> what point am i trying to make tradition and church is the same the only problem is practicing Christianity or any form of religion while leaving your tradition, culture and your heritage behind. Christianity was shaped in a white man's culture. But you can actually decide to be a Christian and still practice your own be close to your tradition. 
the ajani the earth which is the soil of your forefathers will bless you more than the sand or the earth of another the soil of your ancestors will always be a blessing unto you we further talked about tradition culture and nature man is nothing without nature <laughs> for those of you that will say oh i do worship in here i do worship in there listen to me there is nothing like idol worshipping idol worshipping is when you have abandoned your own tradition and embraced another's tradition then you are inviting idolatry you are practicing idolatry in days our forefathers never had weddings white weddings but today we have both traditional marriage we have white wedding but we have high rates of divorce you would never see our forefathers divorcing their wives our, their wives were never fast to divorce their husbands even if their husbands married more than two wives do you know why? Because it is our tradition. It wasn't having any negative effects on our mothers because of the teachings. You can actually do religion, pick out the good ones and trash out the ugly ones. Exactly the same way we do in our tradition. If I notice that my forefathers did something that doesn't go down well with me, I would never engage myself in that. Because I am for light. I am for the path of light. I am for light and I'm for the path of light. So I do not in any way engage myself in anything as tiny as it is that has to do with darkness. Because of course, I want to enjoy my life. I want to have a peaceful life. I want to enjoy my children. I want my children to enjoy me. I want to enjoy my marriage. And I want my marriage to be successful. I want my marriage to be sweet. So why should I do that? Having at the back of my mind that for every action, there is a reaction. <laughs> Now, life has been really tough for you. Pay attention. Life has been really, really tough for you. I want to start experiencing, experiencing good life. I am telling you this thing out of experience. I am telling you this thing because I've done it for a lot of people. And they came back to testify. If you are staying in your country, the only thing that you need to do is to get ready. Take your flight down to your village or take your public transport, whichever one you can afford. Take it down to your village. Go to your maternal village. What did I say? Maternal, not paternal. My people used to say, no, also chuba mado, obagani ponia. In your maternal, you have loads and packs of blessings that is waiting for you to get there. Immediately you step your foot in that land you pull out your footwear and stand on the ground lift your hands up to the sky and look at the sky and pray that 
Anya Unabara. The sun, sun energy comes to your rescue and makes your journey a fruitful one. Whoever that is the oldest, the oldest man or woman in your maternal, go there with a bottle of dry gin, clear dry gin, and color knot. Kneel down before him and ask him to pray for you. See a gobalogo of fondo. On top of those two things, put some money. It could be 2,000, 5,000, whatever you can afford. Put it on top of these items and kneel down before the elder, before your elder. Kneel down before him or her and ask for blessings. Ask that this year you want to experience total turnaround. Ask that this year you want to see something great happen in your life. You want to have your own partner. You want to get married. You want to have your own children. You want to experience total turnaround. After you are done, make sure you're not putting on any footwear. The elderly man can take you to his olden days chamber or whatever that is an altar in his obi, in his compound. Whatever that is the altar there that is being used by the olden days people, let him or her take you there and pray for you. Pray for you with that drink. Pray for you with that cola knot. Break the cola knot. Pour the drink on it. Pour libation to your ancestors. My dear, <coughs> that which is your heart's desire will be granted before this year finishes. This is a secret. Now, if on a normal, if you come to me, for this you will pay money for it sure you will pay it is not free feel me it's not free but i'm teaching you right now to go and do this free of charge i give you before the end of this year to return that with your testimony all right guys thank you very much for watching god bless you all and see you guys in my next one Bye.